Gaius Julius Caesar de Bello Gallico, Book One, Episode Twenty Nine. Alterum per provinciam nostram multo facilius atque expeditius, propteria quod interfines helvetiorum et alabrogum, qui nuper pacati erant, Rodanus fluit isque non nullis locis vado transitur. The second road leads through our province. Alterum is modifying here an implicit iter from the previous portion. The second path through our province is much more easy and unencumbered expeditious. Facilius and expeditious here are both neuter, singular, and nominative. They are adjectives modifying the implicit iter. They're comparative adjectives. Multo patterning with them is an ablative of degree of difference. So not only is the road easier and less encumbered, but we want to know how much. Well, by a great deal, multo, it is facilius and expeditious. And then Caesar will give us the reason why this is so when he says, propteria, quote, inasmuch as, or because of the fact that, between the borders, interfines, of the Helvici, or the Helvetii, and the Allobroges. Now, fines is masculine plural and accusative as the object of the preposition inter, inasmuch as between the borders of the Helvetii and the Allobrogi, who recently, qui nuper pacati erant, had been made peaceful, or had been brought into submission, because between those borders, Rodanus fluit, the Rhone River flows. So this is why that road is better. It is because the Rhone flows, Rodanus fluit, between the borders of these two people groups, one of which has a relative clause, namely the Allobrogum, and it, meaning the river here, the Rhone River, it is crossed, or can be crossed, is crossable, non nullis locis, in some places through the shallows, or by fording. Non nullis locis is masculine plural, and an ablative of place, and wado is neuter, singular ablative, and is an ablative of instrument. So it, the river, is crossed, we might say idiomatically can be crossed, at some points, non nullis locis, through the shallows, or by fording, neuter singular ablative of instrument.